welcome to the video. Today we're going down to Dublin to shoot with Jamie Goonery. Um, so we're on the road here now, it's probably about uh, 9 o'clock. And I'll have Jamie with me here, and so we're going to shoot all day today. Chance, but I don't see how Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown My life been good and bad and all around The more things I lost, the more I found One thing I taught myself to do No matter the problem, refuse to lose So, how you want it, man? You can choose If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse See, I walk in slow and ignite the room Like fire, everything I touch, I consume I'm getting up while y'all just snooze While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move I'm the first one in and the last one out Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out I in me I trust, yeah I smell like success, this Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us, we don't stop cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never gay no fucks, I ain't scamming, you know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night, you better just run for your life. Won't you come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in his sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight We go in the dog being nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'ma let it breathe just a little Give it to you strong heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike You better just run for your life Run for your life I'm with Jamie Goonery, um, we're down Sabling in guys. Dublin and uh, we're just going to ask Jamie a few questions and get his thoughts on a few things. We put up a box on Instagram and we've just got a few questions here. Um, so Jamie, uh, what's your thoughts on calorie counting? And we're just going to do a few simple basic ones first and then we'll get a little bit better. Yeah, uh, calorie counting is so important for tracking, um, obviously tracking for your goals and for yeah, to, to, to progress in your training and obviously nutrition. Um, it's Without tracking, you don't really know you're going. So it's like saving for a house without looking at your bank account or, or know exactly what you're doing, to get me? And for me, it's a must when people are striving for a goal. Is it, for me, is it mentally um, healthy all the bleeding time? I don't think so because of, that's my honest opinion because it's, cause there is a time when you need to count and not count. And that's just my personal opinion. I, yeah, I want people who are, my clients, uh, gym members, to count calories to get the best results possible, but not to let, let overwhelm them um, and take over their lives, because that's the negative of it, I think. Obviously, uh, as you said there, like, you don't want to create an eating disorder or something out of it like out there by counting every single calorie that you're no. doing, but at the same time, if you're not seeing results because you're not counting calories, then maybe it's, a, it's yeah. an option. Yeah, it's a fine line. Everything, with every, everything in... Everything in balance. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and then your thoughts on intermittent fasting, so like say eating between like say 12 and 6 or 12 and 8 or something like that there? Well, listen, it's all about preference. I could say intermittent fasting is, is really bad or really good for, all depends on, on my experience, but I've done it before, it worked for me at a certain time when I needed to do it and when I hadn't got time to just say eat between 8 and 12 in the, in the, in the morning. Um, it didn't work for me long term, but it does work for different people on your lifestyle um, or how your, your life routine is. So like if it does suit you, it's, it's it does have its benefits. But at the end of the day, you're eating a certain amount of calories a day, so it doesn't really matter when you eat. But yeah, yeah. it does suit some people because people have this thing that if they eat over 8 o'clock, let's be honest, right? After 8 o'clock, you're not gonna eat. A Sunday dinner, basically. Yeah, or you're not gonna have an omelet at 10 o'clock at night. You're gonna probably have a bleeding tub of Ben and Jerry's. That's the most likely time you're having. You're gonna have a tub of Ben and Jerry's at eight o'clock in the morning. That's why they stop at 8 p.m. or that's why you do intermittent fasting, which I can see what it is. I've done it before, I walked, but like I said, it's all about your calorie intake. Once your calorie intake is the right amount, it doesn't really matter what time you're eating at. Yeah, yeah, and then, so you're away at Maldives there. Um, so what tips can you give to anyone who's maybe thinking about traveling? Obviously, 
COVID has thrown the whole thing off this year. Yeah. But like next year, people are thinking about going away on holidays and they want to try and stay in shape when they're traveling or when they're away. What sort of tips can you give? Um, I love traveling. Traveling is for me. With, with business and stuff like that, you're under, under a lot of pressure, even though it doesn't look like it. You're under a lot of pressure all the time. Um, it, can be, it can be overwhelming. Um, so a break for me is always needed a couple of times a year. I think 2000, 2019, which was last year, I traveled a lot, Thailand twice, Dubai, all these nice places, because I'm obviously five years in the business, so I can, I can, ha I can, I can do that now. Um, but yeah, like traveling is, is great. It's always good to see different parts of the world. For me, it's good to see different parts of fitness in the world. Um, which is why I went to those, these places like the Thailand, Bali and stuff like that last year which was great and Dubai have, have a great little setup as well, outdoor training. And I suppose when you go to different parts of the world you see how they train differently like as opposed to like you know you're used to this whole setup in Dublin. Yeah, yeah. Like you know so you see something different. Yeah. Um, and then what's your favourite place in the world to travel to? Well, different aspects of different things for the, for like Training and, and like floating, floating around for training and kind of experience and travel was Thailand was unbelievable, it was amazing. Training was great um, and the, the scenery and all was great. Bali wasn't, wasn't far, but I didn't, do, I didn't do too long in Bali to say it was better, so Thailand was really great. Dubai as like an experience of how nice it is and all the, luxur the luxury of it, the, the fine dining, that's, that's different than Thailand. But like as a whole aspect of training and lifestyle, Thailand was great. But like for, it wouldn't be for some people, and I know that because yeah, it is. Yeah. There is parts of it that is slums and stuff like that. But like as to get yourself um, like a reset, it was really really good. Like I went there, reset myself, training. I came, you come home, like you come home on a different level of how you think. Do you know what I mean? You have loads of time to look look after yourself mentally and physically. So when you come home and, you, and everyone's kind of caught in the, I call it a rat race, where you're like working very hard oh, and yeah, it's yeah. tough to actually get new ideas or, or actually see, uh, kind of yeah. see self-improvement where I came home and uh, seen the self-improvement after four weeks which is hard to see sometimes you have to be a flat out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I suppose you get, as you said, you get bogged down in the, in the rat race and then it's hard to become creative, it's hard to get these new ideas whereas 100%. time away gives you that opportunity. Gives you a little, like I said, a little reset um, but you're not too far away that you're, that you're missing tricks at home and like I said it was, it was amazing, it was a great experience. And you said there you're well travelled then, is there somewhere in, in mind that you would think is cheap to go that is possible? You know Thailand you know? is pretty Thailand. cheap, Thailand's pretty cheap, um, the, 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 the non, what's called, the non-touristy places are, are pretty cheap, the, the, the fitness, um, the fitness, like likes the Titan Fitness, what else, the Unit 27, the Unit 27, um, and there's all Muay Thai gyms as well, it's all on the one street, and it's pretty cheap, it's a great place to be, to get, like I said, if you're fitness orientated, savage, savage place to be. Okay, I must put that in, but like, Definitely. And then last thing, then, is there any advice for PTs that are looking to grow, so obviously I'm sure there's loads of people that follow you, and see how well you're yep. growing, and have you any advice on what you would do to grow and get to the sort of level you're at? Well, I can only talk from my experience. I can't tell people how to do what they do best, whatever niche it is, whatever it's makeup, fitness, whatever it is. I, I found a trait which I'm good at in personal training and having a gym, and I needed people to see that. So I used, I got in contact, like you were to me, um, with, with other influencers, not other influencers, with influencers at the time, because I was an influencer, um, with influencers at the time, to help get my, um, get my business out there. All I wanted, I knew I was good, not that it was good, I knew I had something that people would, could pay for or could, that could be an asset to other people, as in clients, my knowledge of training, my enthusiasm as a trainer, but I needed people to see that. So you need to make your awareness as, as big as possible. Yeah, so I need to build up my brand, which is why we're here. So I need to get my brand awareness out there, which was get influencers in, work with them, and then I think me and you were chatting earlier, you become it becomes um, normal, you become mutual friends with these people, you become these people, do you know what I mean? Like law of attraction, you attract these people, you end up in the same places, you end up doing the same things because you're all striving for the one thing. And it's like, it looks like a click, but it's not, it's just everyone's out, these are just a group of people that are out for the same thing, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's good. You want the same things and you end up coming together. together. together and and it all depends it. on, like for me, like I said, even you coming down here today, we're all out here to, wherever, if you're here, 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 we're all here to do the same thing. And and. The, for me, it's always great to link up, whether it's you or anyone, it's great to link up because if you have, because I know how hard it was when I was, when I was starting off, even trying to, I texted so many PTs, or sorry, influencers, and they didn't get text back. Now, they're probably on the same level as me, less followers than me now, or whatever. I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't diss them, or, you know, but like, I'd always have a for time for anyone who's who's sure yeah, of Anyone who's looking to grow, like you're you time for them. Yeah. And I do appreciate you coming no, down of course. Let me come down today of course. and walk out. Listen, I look, really look, like I said, like I said, I looked at you, it was what I was doing two, three years ago, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I know how hard it is, I know but like but you have a better st now, I think you have a better platform now than I did back then because Instagram wasn't as big as it is now. 
I still have Facebook back when I was driving. Do you know what I mean? So it was a little bit tougher to like take the bulls, take the. the opportunities there now. Yeah, there is an opportunity there, and um, fitness injury is the biggest it's ever been. Um, so yeah, definitely, I'll, I'll give you a props. Kind of thing. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, so big thanks to Jamie for letting me come down. No problem, Tom. It's a sick work right there. Hopefully he's all seen it. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Really appreciate Cheers, it. guys. Thank See you. Later. Cheers. Run for your life. Run for your life.